Hey, Woody, thanks for your time. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. Good break over summer? We had, uh, we had a wonderful break uh, over summer. But, um, as you know, I've got a couple of young, uh, young boys and um, it was really nice. We got away to, uh, to the mountain and, uh, and went camping and uh, typical uh, Kiwi summer really, um, beach and, and barbecues and, and tantrums and, uh, and all of that. But, uh, but nice, you know, it, it, had been, uh, um, it had been a really big year. You know, when you, when you look at uh, the first part of the year, we had, uh, had a World Cup in France with, uh, with the New Zealand under-20s, and then uh, obviously the back end of the year, uh, a tough and, uh, and challenging uh, Mighty Ten Cup. You're just speaking on that year, very tough year, as you mentioned. So what are some things you've taken away from that? Yeah, look, you know, it's, um, yeah, it, was, it certainly was a, it was a challenging year. And look, in terms of the um, review, there's two aspects to reviewing your year. Um, one, we get an independent review done where um, a respected gentleman by the name of Grant Coward um, comes in and does a, an independent review. Uh, and, and additionally, it's sort of traditional for the head coach to run his own review as well. Um, so I did that as well, where you know I'll, I'll meet with staff, have one-on-ones with staff, um, uh, one-on-one uh, with, uh, with the players, etc. And basically, what I've done will is compile basically both reviews and um, and got some trends out of those, and, and I suppose come up with uh, with a bit of a critical view around stuff that um, that influenced, I suppose, our performance in our program uh, program last year. I think the first thing I want to say around last year is I'm the head coach, and uh, and I'm responsible for um, for those performances. And I think it was clear and obvious those performances weren't good enough and, and certainly uh, wasn't the standard that, uh, that, that we wanted to roll out. Um, and as to lead, the buck stops with me, so uh, certainly accept that. Uh, so in terms of the, the critical few from the review, um, there's three things. Uh, number one, uh, myself. So uh, areas that, uh, that I need to improve on and, and, uh, and areas that, uh, that I need to get better at. And I suppose I'm really fortunate that obviously got good support from uh, from the crew here, but got some great support from the the coach development team at New Zealand Rugby, and and part of that is is um, uh, been on a, a coaching program called the uh, CAP course or Coach Accelerator program, uh, which is run by High Performance Sport uh, New Zealand. So I'm uh, really fortunate to be on that program, and, and um, which will enable me to come up with a, a real clear plan around. Um, uh, working on identified work-ons um, that I need to get better at. So that's number one. Uh, number two is, I think, clear and obvious, the stadium. Um, and I think, certainly from an A-team perspective, uh, I suppose how that um, had a, an influence um, on us and on our program was um, we basically had what we refer to as a, as a performance centre, or a high performance centre, uh, in the east end of the stadium, and uh, within that space, you know, we had uh, we had office space. So we obviously had all our staff together, um, our community staff, our commercial A team staff together. Uh, we had our gym there. We had um, recovery space with uh, with plunge pools, our changing facilities. Um, had our our uh, medical um, room and set up there. Uh, review preview space. Um, Three fields to uh, to train on, etc. So we're, it was a it was a um, very efficient um, high performance space. When we were supposed to moved out of that space uh, from the council, um, we obviously initially firstly moved into um, Sport Taranaki, and really appreciate how and his team accommodating us and looking after us for a little bit. And then whilst that was happening, obviously all our gym equipment, etc., was put into containers. And then closer to the Mighty Ten Cup kicking off, the A team staff, we moved up to the Tucson stand um, at the um, at the race course, um, which is a great space and, and um, really thankful for Kerry Hobbs and his team for um, for looking after us. And we brought our gym into obviously the, the bottom part of, of the Tucson stand and um, got some porta comms and containers around um, changing facilities, etc. I think the, the key message there is, and what's come out of the review was, um, it was disruptive. And certainly the build up to the Mighty Ten Cup around the relocation was disruptive. And then I think additionally during the Mighty Ten Cup, we were probably trying to work out the environment that, that, um, that had probably changed considerably for us. So 
um, that's a that's a good learning for us in that space. Uh, and the and the third point uh, that's come out of the review is is uh, the injuries that uh, that we suffered. Um, and look, I think it's important to get your language right around injuries because every team gets injuries. I think the challenge for us was we lost a lot of key players. When I say key players, players that um, played for Taranaki for uh, for quite some time um, and had uh, a lot of shared experience and won a, a lot of big moments for us. And look, I certainly felt as a head coach we were still able to put out really good teams each week, but a lot of new combinations with uh, certainly with the injuries we were getting and when those new combinations were put under pressure, um, you know, we weren't dealing with that pressure um, well enough. Um, so certainly had some good learnings in that space. I had some great learnings as a head coach of maybe how to better um, manage that if, um, if God forbid, we're, we're faced with a, um, uh, you know, another injury toll like that. But those were the three things that, that come out of our review. There are some exciting things coming up in Taranaki Rugby, particularly the new coaching group. If I just reflect on the coaching group from last year, obviously myself, uh, Paul Titor, or Fish, um, Leo Crowley, um, Tim Stuck, and then we had Jason Hooper who was involved in our, in our scrum. We had all intentions to keep that coaching group together uh, as an organisation and, and, and as a head coach. Um, and I very much believe, you know, successful teams, you know, they have continuity with their players that keep their playing group together and you keep their coaching group together. But as it's been publicised over the last couple of days um, with our, our um, financial loss of $800,000 plus, uh, the, the landscape changed for us considerably. And, and it was um, really unfortunate at the end of the Mitre 10 Cup, because we didn't know where we were going to land financially, and we were unable to, first of all, go to players around recontracting. Um, and then secondly, some key staff that we really wanted to keep, because we just didn't know what, uh, what um, financially what the landscape was going to look like uh, the following year. We certainly knew it was volatile um, but now we're, we're obviously aware of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the number. So that was challenging um, and we certainly knew that um, you know we had some really good men and good coaches and part of that coaching group and you know it was clear and obvious that um, you know once we weren't able to lock those contracts in that um, they were going to get picked up somewhere else and, and I'm really glad that, um, that that eventuated really that quite quickly for uh, first of all Fish, who an opportunity opened up in France for him. Really happy for him, and also um, also Leo, who's um, picked up a job with the Wellington Lions. I think it's their backs coach. So two really good buggers and good coaches. Uh, but on the flip side, also really excited about the group that um, that we've brought together. So we might have lost some good buggers, but we're bringing some good buggers back in. And don't want to single anyone out, but it's it's um, it's wonderful to have Craig Clark. Uh, come on board and replace Fish as forwards coach. Um, Lawrence Corlett's come on board to, um, to lead our scrum, and Tim Stuck um, is uh, continuing his role as assistant coach. So there'll be some changes in who's delivering what. Um, I'll come back in and lead uh, Team Attack, uh, which I did uh, under Colin Cooper and, and, and have done in the, in the New Zealand 20 setup. Uh, Tim Stuck will uh, lead Team Defence. Um, Craig Clark will um, be responsible for the forwards, and, and obviously Lawrence as a scrum coach will be responsible. For the um, for the scrum, but um, you know, just because we've got a, a leaner uh, coaching group, certainly doesn't mean we're going to be less effective. Um, good men, good coaches. Um, we've all got young kids, and why I said that is, you know, we've all got. What I mean by that is, we've got skin in the game. You know, our kids are in either in kindies or schools in this province or club rugby. So, you know, we've got men in that coaching group that uh, that really care about rugby in this province in the future. What are some feedback to fans who? might want to reconnect with Taranaki or some fans that have gone away but we want to get them back? Yeah, look, a really good question Will, you know, and um, I've been reflecting about that over the summer really um, because, you know, people are going to be, certainly be disappointed with how we played last year and like I said I accept that, I take responsibility for that. Um, there is uncertainty around certainly the short term future looks for us, There's still uncertainty <coughs> excuse me, uh, around our stadium. Um, and I think when there's change and when there's uncertainty, it's important to over communicate. So there's two messages I want to deliver here. Number one, if you're unsure on things, so if you're, if you're unsure on how the membership packages are looking or, or the seating arrangements at the stadium or, or what's happening with the stadium, uh, come in and see us. Um, 
come and sit down with, with our commercial team or, or with our CEO, uh, Jeremy Parkinson. Um, and then on the flip side, if you've got questions around um, around the A team, around around the Yarrow's Bull side, whether it's um, the players we've got contracted or um, the draw and what our strategy is going to be around playing certain teams, come in and see us. Uh, come in and work. Let's let's have a coffee and and, uh, and let's talk about that. So this is the first point. Come and see us. Uh, the second point is um, it's an important time for us as as. Also, as a province around our rugby, um, you know, I very much believe the decisions we're going to make over the next 12 to 18 months are going to heavily influence rugby in this province for the next 10, 20, 30 years. So I think our mindset and our language around that's important. I think it's important that, um, that the moment doesn't define us, that we define the moment. Uh, and we will. And uh, I'm really excited about uh, leading us through that. Hey, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Will. Cheers.